Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Cool. Um, it might be a little bit off topic. I've actually got two questions, if you don't mind me being so rude. Um, and and uh, but they're on totally different subjects. And one, the first one might be a little bit out of the range of this conversation. I don't know. Nothing's out but, of the range. Okay. <laughs> um, the last couple of months, it's been very, very apparent that um, they are spraying something into our skies. That you have come up with a beautiful blue morning. And then you get this crisscross of, of so-called vapor trails, or I prefer, you know, chemtrails, if you like. Uh, and then in the afternoon, we've got this horrible grey mass of of stuff that that comes up, and uh, our beautiful blue skies have been obliterated, and we no longer get the the kind of five six days of of a high. Um, pressure re thing that we used to have in the summer, you know, we don't have a little cl little fluffy clouds that evaporate into nothing and blah blah blah. So it's not. I'm not. In, I think that is happening, and and I, I believe from your perspective, you are not an advocate of the man-made global warming kind of uh, agenda. If you like, you've not succumbed to that myth. Um, I'm correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but my most what's bugging me at the moment is what can we do about it and and I, I don't know if you're the person to answer that question or not but or you know um maybe you can give okay. some sort of advice that's question number one yeah so when we ask what can we do about it we're kind of subsuming all of us as individuals into a generic we but the answer to that question i think is unique to each person yeah okay so so but I, i'll tell you the part that i can do about it and that maybe some of you who uh resonate with my words might be might participate in um and i'll talk a little bit about chemtrails um i don't have absolute compelling proof that you know that there is a nefarious agenda i've certainly read a lot of the material um some of it and i've read the debunkings of it you know and I'm not fully satisfied with the debunkings, although there are some advocates that, um, you know, of the theory that really ignore some important explanations. But overall, like, like I saw one time, and this is what really tipped me over the edge. I was, I, I saw like a plane whose whatever chemtrail generator was malfunctioning and it was going on, off, on, off and making like a perfect, dotted like dashed line across the sky like with clockwork regularity and i'm like maybe there's like some you know striated weather atmospheric pattern that's but that that no not really like i i, I couldn't buy that you know and and so I'm, I'm kind of aware of this whole alternate reality um of chemtrails and geoengineering and what i what i would say what is mine to do about it applies whether or not the conspiracy theories are factually true. And I don't mean to imply by saying this that they are not true. Okay. I'm, as I just disclosed, I am agnostic on it, leaning toward, I think there's something really going on. But what is mine to do applies either way. Uh, because I look at the mindset from which geoengineering seems completely natural and right and good and represents progress and it is the mindset of progress that equates it with increasing our control on every level of reality from the gene and the atom to society uh through tracking and surveillance you know and social engineering through climate engineering like turning all of reality including the planet earth into an engineering object. That is one of the key dim dimensions of our reigning mythology. And I work for a different mythology, which understands that there is intelligence in the world outside the human being, and that our role is not to impose intelligence onto a world that has none, but to participate in the organic intelligence um, of life. So from, so, so from that attitude, 
there's no way we would mess with the atmosphere in that way. And also from that attitude, understanding the sacredness of life and the intelligence of life, we come to my understanding of climate change, which it's not that, that it's not happening, um, but it's that it's a result of the degradation of ecosystems, <clears throat> the destruction of forests, wetlands, soil, fish, whales, insects, you know, through pesticide use, et cetera, et cetera. The destruction of the organs of a living being that we call Gaia. And of course, the climate gets deranged. You know, we have record hot, record heat, record cold, record drought, record floods. You know, all these things are a sim symptom of derangement. And if we accepted our participation and membership in the tribe of all life on earth and the said saw it as sacred, we would we would stop destroying in that way and we would stop spraying chemtrails. Like, so that's the level I work at. And that's not to demean the activists working on a much more uh, direct level. Um, you know, organizations like Geoengineering Watch and things like that. Um, but I'm just telling you what, what is mine to do. And then I would return the question to you and to everybody else listening. What, what is yours to do?